I chose to take classes through the online college and high school because it allowed me to take college classes I wanted to but still stay involved in school. I'm Nils Hagen and I'm a senior at Osakis High School. The online classes have really given me an opportunity to expand my horizons and get involved in different activities like band and sports because when I am involved in those things I don't always have time to do my homework and that the online classes give me an opportunity to do my homework on my own time. My name is Paige Matfeld and I am a student at Holly High. I am in volleyball, basketball, softball, knowledge bowl and on the yearbook committee. I'm Tara Vegan and I'm a student at Faustin High School. It gives you such a great advantage uh, going into college and just being a high school student. It really puts you ahead of the game. I'm Gavin Becker and I'm currently a student at Nevis High School. Online college in the high school has been a great benefit to our district in the fact that it opens up alternatives for students. It gives them options in their school day for them to be able to take a college class while being right here on their high school campus. I had an idea in uh, 2002 as I traveled to many of my small rural schools in the Pine to Prairie Cooperative Center and I saw a need uh, for advanced classes and additional elective classes for the schools and so I had the idea that uh, let's talk to the colleges and see if we can't bring some of the college classes in online. The online college and the high school courses are, are designed essentially the same as the regular course offerings. It's really an important um, addition to, to what we do. Um, to be able to reach more students, um, provide more class opportunities. We try not to duplicate courses that are offered in the regular high school. We try to go offer classes that are above and beyond their normal curriculum. We're a smaller school and so we don't have um, a ton of elective offerings that kids can take, especially for those students that really are trying to to achieve at a higher level and trying to challenge themselves. So what it's done is it's been able to offer us um, the opportunity to give kids a lot more choices in classes, a way to start exploring maybe career areas that they're interested in. So this program allows all those students to stay here while still obtaining the college credit that they really want and the challenging classes that they want in order to continue their academic growth onward into the future. Half and one is it's actually a great opportunity for me because I know before if you wanted to take college classes in high school you would actually have to go to the college and uh, spend the semester there. This way it really leaves it so the student can be more flexible and more involved. We want those students to stay in our building. We want this whole group of students to be here every day because they are our school leaders. If those students leave and go PSEO, we lose their positive atmosphere that they create in this building. We lose just them interacting with the students and the staff. We lose as a school district so much if those particular students leave. As a counselor, when I see a student go full-time PSEO, I'm excited for them to, to try something and to, you know, if it fits for them, great. But they never get a second chance at high school. And then who's doing voting for sure Friday that's a junior? Instead of leaving the school by staying in the school and taking college classes online, I'm allowed to be student council president, I can be in choir, I can be robotics, I can be very active. And you also get the high school experience. You still get to be a senior, you still get to go to homecoming. If I stay here then I can still be in the sports that I'm in and the activities that I'm in and I can still have my friends and it's just easier. Once you like are a part of a class, you kind of want to finish it through. You want to be amongst your classmates and get to finish your senior year being like with them and going to the football games and enjoying like all the stuff that goes on your senior year. And this is their chance to be here, to have that high school experience, to be with their friends, to just experience everything that high school has to offer. And at the same time, be a college student because they're taking these online classes, they're learning about themselves and what they're capable of doing. They're learning about the college experience. And so I can't really think of a better way for them to be able to mesh both worlds. I went into the classes expecting them to be quite hard, but once I figured out the program online and it actually became really organized and it was easy for me to log on and just to um, check my content list and 
just mark off my tasks as I go along. Um, the most important thing I've really learned through this program is it's not as hard as people think it is. Like people get all stressed out about, oh my gosh, it's online. It's I have to figure out everything on my own. There's people that'll be there to help you. It's helpful having a um, proctor nearby, getting everything set up and getting logged in and th you know getting into the system. I definitely see the proctor as being someone that's necessary and a huge safety net for the student. I watch over the students and I check their grades on the occasion and so sometimes they'll get behind and they don't know how to get caught back up so therefore I'm the person then that helps them schedule what do you need to do, what's the next test you need to take, how do you, what videos do you need to watch, let's contact your professor, tell them what the concern is or I can also contact online college and the high school personnel for assistance whenever I need that, and they've been very supportive. Our support center here for online college and the high school is really meant to support the student in any way where the connection between the college, the faculty, the proctor, all working together to um, make the experience for students really seamless and easy. So we're, we're here for whatever questions they might run into. Their support staff has been so great in helping me to understand what my expectations are here, what's expected of me as a proctor. They're always there and if I have questions about you know whatever it might be Distance Minnesota has a great support staff. We're offering for new and returning schools that are participating in online college in the high school an iPad. It's fully loaded with bookmarks on the OCHS website that are quick links to get them everything they need for admission, transfer information out, um, resources for logging in. So it's, it's really a great tool for proctors getting started especially because everything they need is right there loaded for them. Our contact is also built into the iPad so it's right there if they need to email us they can just hit the button and it just makes it really easy for them to get started on whatever they need. Having that proctor there as a pinpoint for communication is really important. I also think it's very important when there are student issues and that proctor can help them through that. And so I found that the proctor is a partner in the process, which I just totally love. And um, we are able to work together on any issues that may arise. It just has that extra benefit of having a little bit more guidance involved um, to help ensure student success. But the curriculum is set up the exact same. Students are expected to write at a college level, read at a college level, and do everything the same as a college level. I found that the college professors are very excited about uh, offering these courses. In fact, they have requested to the dean that they teach these online uh, high school courses. They're getting our top students from across the state all in one class and they prefer these classes sometimes more than teaching their regular online college courses. What I notice with online college in the high school is that the students that are taking these are very conscientious, uh, very eager and, and willing to, to work and participate. I've found that the students tend to be high achievers, perhaps even overachievers. Um, some of the things that they come up with as far as some of the assignments that I have given them, they go above and beyond. Uh, perhaps even more so than some of my college students do. I am also discovering over the last uh, couple semesters that the online college and the high school students seem to have a, a stronger grasp of the technology that we're using. Our online classes use an online system called D2L. D2L is a nice interface, it's really easy to use. It's basically an organizing system that they run through to put all the assignments on, to put tests, quizzes, all the content that you need for the class to know what you should be doing for the class. We often use discussion posts where we post and communicate with other students so there is that interaction. Interactivity is, is key I think to, to learning success and, and particularly in an online course uh, to, to find ways to have the student interact with the instructor, to interact with each other and to interact with the material. The D2L system lets us not only just take college, uh, classes from one college, but a couple different colleges in Minnesota. Even though we're sitting at a computer alone, you still feel connected with most of your classmates because you're communicating with them every day. They have a profile picture, they have a profile with their interests and what they like to do. I feel like I personally know some of them even though I've never met them. Now, online in the high school does cost some money. We pay tuition, we pay books, sometimes there's student access, that type of thing. And I'm sure for a lot of people when they look at that, at that line item, they think that's a lot of money to spend. It's a sticker shock no matter what you do in education today. Bringing these courses is a cost. But there is dual enrollment and the state does help subsidize some of that cost. 
but it is not like having a student walk out of the doors on a PSEO and take with them all the foundation aid that we would have received. If they lose one student, they're losing about $7,000 in state aid that walks out of their building with that student. So if they can keep that one student and many others in online college in the high school, it's a great savings. It actually is a great savings to the high school. By doing this, we allow kids to still have a good high school experience and yet access a large number of credits. So I think for us, it's probably been cost effective to have the online in the high school. I think it's a good way to earn college credit and then that can transfer to wherever I go to college. And I would definitely recommend it to any students interested because it's a great way to take a class, something you're interested in that maybe isn't offered at your school. I love being able to provide the services to our upper level students that they need and, they, and, and are qualified for. Right now my end goal for finishing my online college and the high school classes is I'm going to be graduating this spring with an AA degree. And that is an accomplishment that just simply wouldn't have happened as little as three or four years ago. I think it's great uh, PR for this, the school uh, to be able to advertise to their local community that their students are walking out of their schools, some of them up to 45, 50 college credits as they leave the high school. I'm Morgan Ockery and I am an alumni of Holly High School and a recent graduate of Minnesota State Community and Tech College in Moorhead. When I graduated high school I had about, I think it was like 32 college credits, so I actually saved about a whole, a whole year of classes at the college. So I was able to graduate in one year. I feel like I'm more well-rounded and I got to learn about things that aren't usually offered in high schools. So I'll be graduating a year early because of the credits that I've brought from high school. I'm Danny Nicholson and I'm a graduate from Holly High School and I'm a current student at Bemidji State University. I would say if you're offered a college class in high school, go for it. You're gonna save yourself time, you're gonna save yourself money in the long run. Definitely take online college in the high school because it offers you a more flexible schedule and different classes from high school that you would normally take and it gets you ahead in college.